This lesson revises some more food and drink items, uh, revises how to give opinions, explains and revises how to put a negative sentence together, and adds a little bit of future tense with our current topic of food and drink. At the end of the lesson, we hope that you'll be able to name even more foods, be able to say what you like to eat and drink for level three and potentially add why, give a reason for a level four and say what you're going to eat, which would be a level five. I'll start a sentence. J'aime les bonbons parce que c'est bon. Have a little think how you would translate that sentence. This sentence means I like sweets because they're good, because they're nice. The bit I've circled in green, j'aime les bonbons, is a level three, with a simple opinion. The bit at the bottom, which adds a justification using the linking word parce que, for because, means because they're nice, because they're good, and that makes it a level four. Here's our starter task, year eight. Please can you put the six elements of a sentence here in the correct order to create a level three opinion sentence? There's an extension task down here at the bottom where I'm putting a red star where we're wondering if you can add your own reason or justification using your knowledge so far or even using a dictionary to turn your sentence into a level four. You have an extra extension over here where I'm putting a red circle and what we're asking you to do um, is put the vowels back in that we've taken out to create two level three sentences. So pause the PowerPoint and have a go at that. You can just think about it, or even better, write it down on a piece of paper or in your French books so that you're gathering even more excellent notes. Answers coming up in a minute. OK, so your answers are, for the sentence, it should have been, Je n'aime pas le fromage. Je n'aime pas le fromage, meaning I do not like cheese. On the right hand side, the first sentence here should have been, je déteste le café. And the second one here, j'adore les céréales. Let's move on. Please can you repeat after me just to refresh uh, some of the basic opinions and particularly the all important pronunciation. Je préfère. J'adore. J'aime, je n'aime pas, je déteste. Okay, on this slide, um, all that we would ask you to do, if you're lucky enough to have somebody to uh, have a few moments to play a quick game of noughts and crosses with you, would be just to practice those simple opinion sentence starters for level three um, and have a game of noughts and crosses. For example, j'adore l'eau. Je déteste le beurre, and so on and so on. If you have time to have a game to practice those level three, brilliant, off you go. Otherwise, let's move on. OK, I would like you, please, to pause the PowerPoint and give yourself just a mini mental vocab test. You don't need to write anything down here. I think you've got enough vocabulary for food and drink going on. Um, just have a think. And I'm going to uh, reveal your answers in a minute. OK, you're right. Here are your answers. And I'd really like you to repeat after me as we go along. Du lait. Des biscuits. De l'huile. De l'eau. Du thon. Du pain. De la salade. Des oeufs. Des bananes. Des steaks, des saucisses, de la limonade, du jambon, des champignons, du fromage, de la viande, des oignons, des tomates, des oranges, du beurre, des pommes. And now for a bit of grammar. And you have a think at why some of these food and drink items are preceded by the little word do. I 
And why are some of them probably a few less? But why are they preceded with de la? Have you noticed that some of them have got the little word de in front of them? And finally, what about this one? Some of them are preceded with dull L apostrophe. Okay, the answers there is the all important masculine, feminine, etc., etc. Those words that are preceded with du, such as the bread here, du pain, they are our masculine nouns. The ones that are preceded with de la, such as the salad, they are are feminine nouns. The ones that have de, such as the biscuits here, the biscuit, they are plural. And finally, dull, dl apostrophe, uh, like the oil here, these ones are the ones that start with a vowel. And if you're asking or wondering, why has the French word for oil got it? Because it starts with a H. Please remember that the H in French on any noun acts as a vowel because it's silent. OK, so now um, another little vocab check for you. And we certainly don't expect you to write all this out with all the work you've done on food and drink so far. But please, could you pause the PowerPoint and just check that you can match up all of the French on the left with the English on the right? The answers are coming up straight away um, with all different coloured lines. So do pause the PowerPoint. Give yourself as much time as you need, because here are your answers. Du l'eau is water. Du lait is milk. Du ton, tuna. Du la viande is meat. Du la limonade is lemonade. Du la moutarde is mustard. That might be a new one for you today. Des pommes, apples. Des saucisses, sausages. Du beurre, butter. Du fromage is cheese. Des tomates, tomatoes. Des oignons, onions. De l'huile, oh sorry. Du jambon, ham. Nearly missed out the all important ham. Number 14, de l'huile d'olive, olive oil. Du pain is bread. And des oeufs are eggs. Let's go. Okay. We're still on level one and we're still on vocabulary building and revision. However, doing anagrams is really good to focus on your accurate, accurate spelling. So again, I'll ask you to pause the PowerPoint and try and unjumble all these food items um, and complete the anagrams one to 14. And here are your responses. De l'eau, des oeufs, du temps, du jambon, de la viande, des pommes, du fromage, du pain, du lait, des oignons, du beurre, de la limonade, des saucisses, des tomates. Okay, final activity on level one, single items of vocabulary. Again, I would like you to pause the PowerPoint, even better, print it out or copy out all of the um, groups of vocab here and would like you to circle or highlight the odd one out each time. Um, if we're in a lesson, we'd be asking you to justify your choice because sometimes there can be one, more than one response when it's an odd one out task. So as long as you have a decent justification, your answers might be slightly different than mine and that might not matter. So pause the PowerPoint, have a think about it, print it out and do this on the sheet if you can. Your answers are coming up in a second. And so the odd one out in number one, out of des pommes, des oranges, des oignons, des tomates, is of course onions, because that is a vegetable. And the other three items there are fruits. Not to get into a debate about tomato being a fruit or a veg. The other three are fruits and the oignon are onions. OK, number two, the odd one out is du ton tuna because the other three are meats. Number three, it's dessert, eggs, 
because the other three are vegetables and these are, are eggs. And in number four, we have de la moutarde mustard, which is the odd, odd one out, sorry, because the other three are um, drinks. Number five, it's a bit different this one. Number five, fromage. Why on earth would fromage, cheese, be the odd one out? You've got salad, meat, cheese, lemonade. Okay, it's la salade, it's la viande, it's le fromage, it's la limonade. It's the only noun in number five that is masculine. And in number six, the odd one out is moutarde because actually it's la moutarde, but the other three are masculine. Le fromage, le beurre, le ton. So the, the last two were not about the meanings of the words, but about the gender, the masculine feminine. Okay, the all important slide in front of you. Please repeat after me. Je vais manger. Je vais boire. Now you can see in the blue strip at the bottom of this slide that it references the future tense and that this is a potential level five sentence starter. So all these hundreds or even thousands of words for food and drink that you've been learning, um, you could add on to the end of these sentences and achieve a potential level five. So je vais manger, I'm going to eat. Je vais boire, I'm going to drink. What I'd like to do on this exercise is I'd like you to pause the PowerPoint each time, just for a moment, have a look at the picture, decide what the correct food item is out of the multi-choice options, and I would like you to say, or even better, write down some future tense sentences to get some brilliant revision notes, which um, of the items you are going to eat or drink. So for this one, um, I think we're probably all quite confident with our vocab that this is mustard. And so that's option two, de la moutarde. But if we were in a lesson, what I'd like to be hearing from you would be, je vais manger de la moutarde. Or I'd like to see it written down in your notes. So up to you, pause the PowerPoint, give yourself enough time to either say it or even better, write it down and then you can check with my answers. Here's your first one. So this one is des oeufs. So what I'd like to be hearing or reading from you is je vais manger des oeufs. Next one, pause the PowerPoint. This one is du pain. So your sentence is je vais manger du pain. Next. These are des champignons. So your full future tense sentence is je vais manger des champignons. And what are these? They are des pommes. So your sentence is, je vais manger des pommes. What's that? It is du temps, which is tuna. And in the future tense, je vais manger du temps. Next. This is meant to be butter du beurre. Your sentence, Je vais manger du beurre. This one is the very typical French item cheese. Du fromage. Your future tense. Je vais manger du fromage. What was this picture on the initial picture slide? It was actually du jambon. You would be forgiven for saying that it was de la viande, which is just any, the general word for meat. Your future tense sentence, je vais manger du jambon. What's this one? It is du lait. So, je vais boire du lait. Please note, I have changed the verb. It is no longer je vais manger, I'm going to eat. It's je vais boire, I'm going to drink because it's now obviously a liquid. Okay. The last activity in the future tense um, section of this lesson is quite a challenging one on the board in front of you. Can you work out from the, all the initial letters on the grid what 
the future tense sentence should be. I'm firstly going to let you have a little look and think, what on earth is she on about? And I'm now going to tell you the order the letters go in. So this is the order of the sentence. OK, your answer. The level five future tense sentence would be Je vais manger des oignons parce que c'est bon, which was a little bit like um, the sentence we had at the start of this section. OK. Just wanted to add one extra slide to give you the chance, if you feel that you're able to, to add some complexity into your speaking or your writing about food and drink um, in French. So what I'd like you to do first of all is to pause the slide, uh, write out the six sentences and put them all into English, which might take a little bit of research online or in a dictionary or in your uh, French notes so far. Um, so yes, translate the six into English but your answers are coming straight up, so do please pause the PowerPoint. OK, the first one is J'adore le poulet, mais je n'aime plus le poisson. I love chicken, but I don't like fish anymore, or I no longer like fish. Number two, which I've just underlined there, J'ai mangé des tomates de jambon, is I ate tomatoes and ham. In the past tense, I ate. Number three, which hopefully was a bit more straightforward because we've just been revising it. Je vais manger de oignons car j'aime les oignons. I'm going to eat onions because I like onions. The fourth one. Normalement, je mange du thon et des oeufs, mais je n'aime pas le fromage. Is normally... I eat tuna and eggs, but I don't like cheese. Number five. Je ne mange jamais. Oh, that's a great circle. Uh, je ne mange jamais de pommes. Et je ne bois plus de limonade. Number five means I never eat apples and I no longer drink lemonade or I don't drink lemonade anymore. And number six, je voudrais manger de la viande avec des légumes, means I would like to eat meat with vegetables. Now, there's a little bit of colour coding that's gone on on that slide as I've talked you through all of the very detailed translations. I'd like to firstly focus on number two, just to get it out of the way, because this wasn't one of my main fo um, things to focus on this lesson. So number two is a past tense. Just a reminder that you might easily be able to identify a past tense by this E accent on the end of the verb. OK, the ones that I've put in green that I'm ticking off now, numbers three and number six, they're both in a sort of a future tense, so green for go, saying what you're going to do. So I'm going to eat onions, I would like to eat meat, etc, etc. And the bits that I've circled really badly in blue, they are all negative sentences. And you might remember that a negative sentence has always got two parts around the verb. So if we want to say we do not do something, we use a ne and we use a pa. And I have to say, my writing in that top right hand corner is much better than my circle down there. So ne and a pa means do not. And we've got that one in sentence four, which I'm just ticking now, year eight. Here, je n'aime pas le, from le fromage. I do not like cheese. We've got lots of different alternatives on negatives. There's only three of them, I think, on this slide. The next one that my students particularly tend to remember is ne 
jamais. Okay? And if we add a n and a jamais around the verb in a sentence, then that makes the sentence mean never. And we have that in sentence five, just down here. Je ne mange jamais de pommes. I never eat apples. And the last negative that we focus on on this slide, because there are quite a few more, just to warn you. But on this slide, we have got ne plus. And this one means no longer or not anymore. So as if you've given up eating something. I always used to think this was quite a good one with health and fitness. So we've got that in sentences one and five again. And it's here. Je n'aime plus le poisson. I'd no longer like fish. Je ne bois plus de limonade. I no longer drink lemonade. Now, if you just think maths for a minute and look at this word here, ne and plus, plus obviously looks like plus. Another way of thinking of plus is if we think of the word in English, more. So, if a sentence has this word in it in French, plus, which is a bit like plus in English, it's saying we don't do something any more. OK, hopefully you've had some good revision, uh, whether it was the level one food and drink items or the level three basic opinions or level four adding reasons or level five adding an extra simple future tense or even the potential guys for level six here, if you manage to add a past tense as well. Um, very well done for getting to the end of this quite long PowerPoint. Au revoir.